Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today what I'm going to do is talk about this canvas here and the face I did and what I'm going to do next. Okay, so uh, if you are subscribed to me or if you had a chance to, you saw me do this drawing. Now, I want to let you guys know that I saw, uh, I got like three, three uh, messages on Facebook and I got some comments asking for, you know, saying that you guys would like this on my web page. So on my, you know, my blog. Um, so I will be doing that and I'll let you know. It'll be within the next day or so. So that's going to happen. Um, I'm so excited to see what you guys do with her and how you make her your own or how you just practice and how you do things. It makes me so excited. Okay. So as you can see, I already Mod Podged her down. I used Mod Podge Matte and this is a canvas, which I will link. I will link how I did this face or how I did the face after my thing wouldn't record <laughs> that video, how I painted her and whatnot. I will link, link it up here towards the end and I will link it down below in the description as well as uh, on that video, it has the colors that I used. And I will also um, put the link on how I made this. Now, I believe this was a recycled canvas. Um, I am all into recycle, reuse and all that kind of thing. Um, so sometimes you have a canvas that you might not like um, or that you do a background or whatever and you're not digging on it so I kind of did my own thing on it. Now it took me a minute to decide what way I wanted her to go because I really dig these peacock feathers right and um, so I just I, I had to go with it because I would be here for six hours deciding um, so that's what I did and then I want to show you very quickly an easy way for you to decide for uh, a lot of you ask about um, how you decide hair colors the heck was I don't know what my cat's just knocked up downstairs I'm so sorry if you heard that um, you're gonna hear my husband yell probably a minute uh, I have no idea. So I'm going to show you how I decide uh, on hair color. Yes, um, there is quite a few from, um, oh geez, I'm trying to think of names. I'm going to be trying to write down names. I have my tablet over there because so many of you ask questions and um, all that kind of stuff. And I want to give you guys a shout out in my videos because, um, I don't know, I just love y'all. So, uh, but I was asked about, I want to say Corey was one. Who was the other one? Uh, if I remember, I'll, I'll hook it up here. Um, so this was done. This is peacock feathers. And how I decide to do hair is this. I take a piece of paper and I do this when I'm doing more when I'm doing commissions um, and that kind of thing. Uh, and sometimes just for things to sell. When I'm on video and doing them, sometimes I do go by the seat of my pants. But what you can do, take a piece of paper and this background's busy, but it's pastel -y, right? It's nothing, like, you don't look at it and nothing really beats you in the head. You see all the nice lighter colors and all that kind of thing. So I take a piece of paper and I'll lay it like halfway on the face and I'll put it down and then I'll kind of do color. So first I did the blue. This is the blue metallic color. And I looked at it and I'm like, oh, that's kind of too light. It's not going to be enough for me. What about the green? Because the green would look great with her eyes. Mm, nope. It's going to be, I don't know. It's going to, these two colors are going to blend in and that's not going to work well for me. Then I chose these two to try. Now I'm digging on this color so much and it is called, um, oh, what are you called? What do you call? Copper. <laughs> that was a hard one. Um, that's copper, but that again is going to blend into the back a bit. And then there's this blue. Now I really dig the blue, um, but I still think that it might, I don't know, it might go into the background too much and I'm not necessarily wanting to do that. Um, however, these colors are sitting here and they are going to be my best friends uh, coming up because I'm going to be using them. I'm going to do a whole metallic painting. I'm, I'm so excited. I just want to play. So now what I'm going to do very quickly to show you how, you know, that I'm coming up with this color. I have this color. I'm going straight. This is aqua and this is not metallic or glitter or anything like that because I figure, let me just wipe my brush off here. I'm going to take a little bit of this and I'm going to, yeah, see, that's kind of what I'm thinking here. You see how dark it's kind of dark, but it matches like these little dots around, right? So I'm thinking that's the color to go. Now here's the great thing. And I'm going to try one more color and show you and then 
will go flowing from there. The great thing is I can use these, right? Just plain acrylic paints, but see, that's going to be too light. I can tell already. Um, unless it comes up a little, a little more uh, gray. Um, but once I put this on, if I'm not so much digging it, I can take the blue metallic and put it over it. Do you know what I mean? So we're not losing out. I'm going to move this up a little bit and kind of, mm, this color is nice too. It's like a, oh dear Kelly. Oh, what color. See, that's what happened. <laughs> and then I sit here and I'm like, what am I going to do next? Oh, what color. Oh, what color should I use? Um. Oh, I just, this color, I just, oh, la, la. Just seeing, like, I think the first one. Oh, do I love the second one? All right, you know what? I'm going with the second one. Going with the second one. Okay, so that color is what color are you? Coastal Blue from Folk Art, and it's number 713, Coastal Blue. And I'm going to shake it. I'm just going for it. Enough deciding, not deciding, what am I going to do? I'm just going for it. And I'm going to do her hair first. But you do whatever you want. I'm going to dry my brush off because I don't want it wet anywhere. I don't want no drippage. I don't want no... Okay. And I'm going to take the lid off. We'll start with the paint and the lid. Put it on my brush and let's go for it. So I want straight hair. I just want it down. Um, nothing too fancy. I think I might even make this go straight. I'm not sure, but we'll see. So I'm just going to go around this for now. Now, here's the thing. You can definitely take some texture paste and put it underneath. I'm going to put this first coat down and see what I think. And then, because I kind of like it coming through. That's my new gig lately, is I love this coming through. There's other times when I, I don't want any of it coming through. But it kind of just makes it, I don't know, work a little bit better for me lately. But we'll see. I'm all about, let's just get this done. I know I'm going to have the hair here and there. Okay. So that's where I'm starting. Yes, we need more hair, I know. I'm just trying to start because I think I want it. Yeah. I'm just going down now. It's okay if you get a little on the face because we're bringing it. We're going to burn it on the face. So now what I want to do is take some more. And you see how I just went around as we glue? I just glued it down with Mod Podge. No big deal. Now, you don't have to bring bangs or anything, but I am. <laughs> but you don't have to. But first, I'm going to make this kind of a little bit more here. And I'm going to tell you a little secret. Move this down a little bit more. Don't look what's underneath. <laughs> if I, I, you, I, you guys um, get so upset when I start doing this kind of thing and putting over it. Some of you get upset, but this is mixed media. So this is my mixed media, the way I do it. You definitely don't have to do it this way, but don't get upset. Um, but what I'm saying is don't, don't look what you're covering. Just right now, focus on the face because a lot of you get upset and don't like to cover what you just did, but I just like to play. So now I'm going to go in, I'm going to have her have a part in the middle. So I'm just going to kind of judge like this and then go up here a little bit. And then I'm going to bring down a swipe, so just kind of straight. There we go. Bring it, you know, cover in your little things. There we go. And I don't make them too big yet or anything like that because I don't know what I'm doing with them right now. But right now I'm just going like this. Just laying it down like rat says. I don't know. Could I come up with another little joke? A little ditty, do you think? Okay. All right. So you kind of see? See how she's coming along? 
All right, now I'm gonna take some more paint. You see how we have this up here, that little line. I'm just gonna kind of go in and bring it down. Cause I look, I'm a big haired girl. I'm a big bum girl. I'm a big stomach girl. I'm a big thigh girl and I'm a big hair girl. So uh, you know what I'm saying? So there you go. But I like putting the hair. Yas, yas, yas. All right, so that's as far out as that hair is going to go. So I'll clean all that up after. Now that I know that. And I think I'm just going to rock it out to the end here because why not? Why think about it? It's all right because we're going to do a little stamping and all on her. So love it. I love it. I'm not even hating on it. I like that color blue. I'm thinking maybe I should put some blue on the eyes. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I don't know yet, but I'm thinking. But I want to kind of keep... Oh, screw it. I'm just going in a little bit with the little bit of my brush. I'm just touching it in. And you can use a smaller brush or a Q-tip even. If you're nervous, I'll do this and then I'll be like, oh, it's smeared, you know, and then I'll yell at myself. But remember, water will take off wet paint, acrylic paint and watercolor paint, too. But OK, just a little bit. I can go back in with a smaller brush later if I want more. I just want a little bit in there. Kind of like those blue green eyes, you know what I'm saying? Just a little bit more. And then just kind of go in and. <laughs> okay. You know, we can all play with that later, but I'm just thinking about putting that in there. Okay, so here you go. Here I go, y'all. Okay, so. Now you can see around the face a little, but I got a little smudge on there. It's all right. We're just going to take our paintbrush and you want it, you know, I'm going to put some paint on it. I want it more on the edge, but to, you know, and you can see here where I smudged a little bit. I'm just going to take this. I'm going to roll with it and down the neck. Okay. And I'll do that on the other side, although the other side isn't, uh, is bad, but same thing, just a little bit. You can go on the bangs a little bit if, if you want them a little straighter. And oh, my stomach just growled. If you heard that, sorry. I'm a hot mess today, but guess what? I'm going with it. Okay, so now that is that for that second. Okay, so you know what? It would be nice to put um glitter in her hair, but I'm probably, I mean, metallic on her hair. So that would be that metallic, but I'm digging this blue color. I think, yeah, I, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to make her eyes a little darker. Oh, I just can't even figure it out. I'll tell you what, I'm going to let this dry and then I'll be back and then we shall see where we continue. What I'm going to do though, is I'm going to take my blue again. I'm leaving this dry for a second. I'm going to blow it with my heat gun. And then throw another coat on here <clears throat> just because like down here, you can see where it's drawing a little bit. I don't need it to be opaque, but I'm just going to throw it, you know, another coat on it just for a second. And then I shall be back. Oh, good. Okay. All right. So everything's dry. Now I have a couple gelatos. I have a brush. I have a couple um, stamps. I don't know what I'm doing with anything yet. And I have this uh, brown... American Craft Stamp Marker. It has a brush and a medium um, point. Now what I'm going to do, now you can do this with, um, you can do this with any kind of marker that you have. You can do it. I don't have a brown um, gelato 
or at least it's not in there. It probably, good only, God only knows where it's at. Um, but anyway, you can use a little bit of paint. You can do whatever. What I want to do is I want to, I want to get going here on her chin. So it kind of, you know, separates from her neck. So I'm going to take a little bit of this on the smaller side and I'm going to go in very lightly. I like to go both ways. That's what she said. All right, see how, now that's a little dark. So I'm gonna take my brush and I want it basically, basically dry. And I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna wet this. So I want it to be kind of, um, kind of smudged. So I wanted to do it with a gelato, but don't have a gelato. Then I'm going to show you. Okay. Right. Then I'm just going to. There you go. Okay. So you can see it's kind of dark. Looks like she kind of got a, a thing going on, a beard, but I'm not worried about that. What I'm going to do as I'm going to take some of my light flesh, just a little bit, and I'm just going to dip this in the little Elizabeth, and I'm going to go over this area just a little bit. So it's going to cover this, but still show it, if that makes sense. Let me show you. See, it kind of gives you a little bit of like a visual that that's her, that her chins are going to work on her neck and all, but that is good. So it blends in with that marker a little bit. So you just get a little bit of, a little bit of that shading. Now you can use, matter of fact, let me show you. I have some distress ink here, which is water soluble. This is why none of my pads work because I'll take my brush, I wet it, and I'm just gonna wipe it in there a little bit. Dab it off there and then I can take it in to add some shadow. And then I can go down this way, and just add some. This is water soluble as well. So I can always wet my brush a little bit. Just pull it like that, but not going for, we're not going for, uh, you know, wet it a little bit more. I'll just sweep it around. Now, sometimes like people, the, you could put like a little thing there for the chin and all. Mine is just kind of going for her, you know, just laying in some shadow. It's not that big a deal because I'm going to stamp all over her and... <laughs> Have fun with her, so. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some more. And I just wet my brush a little bit, but I'm going to go in to... Now, you can use your paint again if you want it a little bit darker. But I'm just going to drag this in a little bit. Very lightly. I'm not pushing down hard. Because remember, this is not permanent but I'm not worrying about it too much. I just want to add some more um, little dimension in. Okay, let's see. All right. I'm gonna do this on the eyes just to make them a little bit.
a bit of a shadow there. And a little bit more, I'm gonna wet it. Going over here, do the same thing. And the water just helps it flow a little bit better. Lightens it a bit, but nothing, you know, not nothing too big. If you don't have this, then use watered down brown or leave it the way it is. It's fine. I'm just playing a little. And I'm going to go just a little bit here. Very light. But see how it makes like the eye pop out a little bit. Now, do you have to do this? No. Like I said, I'm just playing. I never can leave anything alone. And I'm going to go into the eyebrow. Obviously that one's not going to be seen. Now you can go, you can make these blue. Like if you want to match the hair, you can do whatever you want. This is just how I'm doing it. See, nothing, nothing too big. Now I can see this one's thicker than over here. I can go in here and just add a little bit more if I want it to be, you know, I'm not worrying about it being spot on because I'm just having fun. Now I'm going to outline the lips. So I'm going to go in. I love using my ink pads as paint as well. I know that sounds bizarre, but one of the things that you can do if you don't have a lot of supplies is use your, uh, like I said, this is uh, distress ink, but well, if you go to the, this is why I could sit here and talk to you guys for hours. Um, if you go to your local uh, dollar store or Michael's or AC Moore or whatnot, you're going to find ink pads and they're going to be a dollar, you know what I mean? Dollar 50, whatever. Um, and buy them because they are nine out of 10 times non-permanent. So, which is like this. So if I go, um, I got to find a piece of paper, but if I would put this on a piece of paper or whatever, and if you've used these, you know, they're not permanent. They're like a, almost like a stain, I guess, but you know, you can paint just like I'm doing and kind of outline and you can, you know, use it to your advantage. I'm somebody who likes to use things, uh, more than one way. <laughs> uh, that's just the way I love to do it. So, you know, I don't worry too much how things are to be used. I like to use them and push them to see where I can, how far I can get them going. You know what I'm saying? So that's just me though. I'm going in here. And see how it's just outlining it? And then I'm going to show you. One second. Let me get this. Okay. And then I'm going to go in here. I'll just do a little bit of her lip. But you can see I went on the outside a little too much. So I'm just going to take my wet brush. And pat it away. And if it's still there at the end, you know, it's going to soak in a little bit. I can just go over with my, my uh, face paint and fix it. And that's all. Believe me. People make mistakes. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. I do it all the time. I'm going to tell you, if you were inside my head right now, um, you would be like, oh my God, how is this girl even functioning? And honestly, I don't know, but I'm having a blast doing this kind of stuff. So that's part of, you know, part of what I love. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of that paint again, some of the face paint. It's all right. Things happen all the time. And just a little bit. I'm just going to tap it in. And kind of spread it out a little bit. Everything's fixable with paint. And I'm just going to go in a bit and do that. If it needs two coats, we'll go in and do two coats. <clears throat> I can do here. Can make this a little lighter if I want. 
Oh, my dog just laid his head on my head on my foot. Okay. All right, and then down in here, I can add a little bit of this just to lighten it up, or use your finger even. <laughs> oh, good goodness. Ah. Uh, love using my finger all right but you see just kind of blend it and blend it and blend it remember this is just a folk art kind of painting okay and i can go back in here for a second and dot a little bit more and like it's a little dark over here, but I kind of like it because of the shading. So I'm just going to go in and kind of, and I'm using my finger. Okay, now this I'm not happy with. So I'm just going in like that. And I can go back in with the paint, uh, not to paint the, uh, you know, to draw it if I want to do it a little bit. And like I said, it's just, it's just playing. It's just playing. So let me let all that dry. And while I do that, let me figure out where I, see, I was going to use the Faber Castell uh, Gelato, but I, I think black's going to be too much. And I don't think I should do that because I think it's going to be too much. But let me find the ink pads. I want to stick kind of kind of kind of pastel -y, but I want it to stick out. Now I did, here I did a purple. So I think I'm gonna take the word dream and I'm gonna press it down and I'm going to put it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make everything slide out of my hand like magic. All right. And then I'm just gonna put it right here and I'm gonna have it go up. Why? I don't know. I'll just give it a little press and lift it up and look. Yes, yes, yes. Now, I got some ink on here. What are we going to do with it? I don't have anything sitting around to do anything with because I'm a hot mess. <coughs> and I'm choking. So, I know I left my water bottle upstairs. All right, so dreams go in there. <coughs> Good God, Kelly. Okay, well, let's do Inspire. All the jokes. Oh, I could have had jokes today. Can't even. Let's do Inspire, but I think I want to do Inspire up here. I don't know why. Now remember, you have like a second if you don't like it. See, that didn't go on very well. So, well, let me show you. I'm going in with just wet, clean brush, but wet, Avi, right? Avi, Avi. And I'm going in and dabbing. I dabble, do you? Okay, and it's all right if some of that purple stays or the eggplant color. I like the eggplant color. I'm not hating on the eggplant color, but it just didn't do good up there because I really didn't. Um, let me show you when your ink pads, my all my ink pads are drying out and that makes me sad, but uh, such is life. So I'm going to turn it upside down and pat it on. You see what I'm saying? Okay, now let's try it. Can't guarantee anything. Make sure it's kind of dry. Yeah, I'm going in the hair, I think. That's nah, a little better. That's all right. Inspire. Why up there? Because that's where I want to put it. Okay. Now I could take this and like make little, you know, like little bloops around if I want just to get the rest of it off. You can't tell what the heck it is. It just adds more markings, but that's fine. So those two are in there. Now, I'm gonna let those dry. I'm gonna go in. What color am I gonna go in with? What color, what color are you gonna use? Um, hmm. I do have a marker. Where's my marker? Excuse me if you can see down my shirt. You're probably gonna have to look all the way down to my knees, but excuse me if you know what I'm saying. 
And if you don't, then that's fine too. I'm really digging butterflies lately. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I don't know. Do I want to put a butterfly? I don't think I do. I would like to... See, this is what happens. I should probably turn the camera off while I'm sitting here and and uh, deciding what to do. So I'm going to let all this dry. And then I will be back. And then we will go from there. The only thing I'm going to do is fix this right here, which is no big deal. And I'm going to dry these with my heat gun because they're still a little wet. And these will go permanent once they're fully dry. So I don't want to play around too much and smear them. So yeah, so I'll be back. Okay, so I got out my uh, chalking set. The Pebble is Incorporated. I got this at Wal uh, not Walmart, AC More about three million years ago. As you can see, I have two of these. Um, I use these quite to quite a bit. They're a mess. <laughs> So I also have a metallic set and another set of the colors, but I use them. And I'm going to show you like under the eye here. I'm going to take some of the brown onto this. Now it does have like a roach clip kind of thing to use, but it must be in my other pack over there and I just don't feel like grabbing it. So I'm just going underneath the eye with this brown just to give a little smudge. You can use gray. You can use whatever color you want. Blue, pink, it doesn't matter. I'm just kind of giving them a little more, I don't know, a little more something, something. And I'll take this a little bit over the top of the eye just to get a little bit of dimension. Not nothing uh, major. Not nothing major. It's, I don't think that's even proper English. All right, a little bit more here. I like that. I don't know. I just do. It's almost like she has eyeliner on. Like I said, gray would look nice too. But I think I'm just sticking with the brown because of the brown eyes. And I'm going to go in one more time with the lip color, the Orchid Blush, which I used in the other video. I'm gonna take a little paintbrush, gonna take a little paintbrush, get some of it, and just fill them in a little more. And it looks a little lighter going on, but once it dries, it's fine. Okay. Just to brighten it up just a tad bit. Okay. You can use markers, you can use crayons, you can use watercolor, you can use Crayola, you can use whatever you have, whatever you want. It will work perfectly. Okay, I think I'm okay with that. Now I want to put I, uh, I want to put something in her hair. I want to do some more. I wonder if I want it sparkly. That's the question. Am I going to go in with some blue metallic? I think I am. I think I am. I think I'm just going for it. I don't know. She's a crazy woman. What's she going to do? I don't know, but we're going to try a little piece of it and see how it comes out. Obviously, this is a little darker, pearlized. Mm. I don't know. I don't. I don't want it. No, I don't want it. Oh no, Kel, you don't want it now. No. So I'm going in with some water and going to wipe off. Now it might put a little bit of the pearlized on there, but that's okay. I just don't want that on there. Sometimes you just got to try. <laughs> Sometimes. Now I'll just put a little more of the flat paint, the regular acrylic paint on, over top of it, so it won't be that big a deal. But sometimes you just gotta try it because I thought there for a minute it might have been an okay thing, but I changed my mind. 
I want to get some 3D dimensional stuff on here as well. But see, that comes right off. No big deal. You can see a little shine, but that's just because it's still wet as well. But I'll put a little more of the hair color on there, and I'm not going to worry about it too much. I am going to put in... I am going to put in a little white... Let me see if I can find it. Highlight in her eye. So she has a little highlight there. Not big on eyelashes, and it's not because I don't like them. It's because my hands just don't, I, I, I just can't do them. I try. Sometimes they come out okay and I leave it. Other times I'm like, what are you even trying, Cal? So there's that. But I'm okay with that right now. The lips are good. Now I've got to do a few things on the outside. Hmm. What can we do? What can we do? I don't know. Do I even want to? Do I even want to? That's the question. Oh, she needs some flowers or something. She's pretty. She needs some flowers. Every woman needs some flowers. Let me see what I got. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's do... I need some, like, inspiration. You know, I'm not finding anything and I don't know what I want to do. If I want to do a stencil, because I really am digging on these stencils. You know, I am, I am, yes I am. Do I want to do one of these, kind of like on her hair and off her hair? Ugh, the questions, the questions. I don't know. I can make that like a flower in her hair. I don't know, because I really dig the background. I don't want to touch the background, but I need something written here. I wonder if I put like a word, like beauty going down. Let me know. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait, because I'm going to be putting this up for sale. So when it's done, let me know. Should I put like beauty coming down this way? Just in, uh, you know, I'll use a stencil, B E A U T Y, beauty, peace. Like, what should I do? What should I do? Because I'm kind of at a standstill. Like, I don't want to add too much to the background. And I don't want to, like, I could leave it like this. Do you guys like it like this? Should I do a little bit more? I need your help. I need your opinion. Let me know down below. I would appreciate it greatly because I'm kind of, kind of stuck on this one. Because part of me is like, go for it and really go all to town. And the other part of me is like, no, I like this simple. Inspire, dream, but I think beauty, urgh, let me know down below. I'd appreciate it. So I'll see you guys in my next video. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. You guys rock. I'm dying to know what you guys think. And um, I'm really digging her. I'm really digging her. I'm really digging her. I don't know what to do, but I'm very excited. So, like I said, I really dig this. Let me show you. Like, you know, and go check out the video for when I made this. And like I said, and then that's her. That's me hitting the camera, and then that's her. So, let me know what you guys think. Because I am. I'm stuck, and sometimes I just need some. I wish you guys were all sitting here with me next to me saying, do this, or what about this, or giving me some ideas. So, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.